Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. There are some people who think that Eon is back. Sorry, Eon isn't back. These videos are being done by Redress. Eon's just letting me use the channel. So I just thought I'd let you know. Eon's going to keep his word. Hey, I got something I want to bring to y'all's attention. Have you ever been... No, we're not going to do the Biz Marquee thing. No, have you ever been assumed by another person to be stupid? Has anybody ever presumed you to be dumb? Have you ever played dumb to allow somebody to think that they've gotten one over on you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about a response I received from the Federal Reserve. That's right. Remember the first response I showed you, which was a non-response, and I put it up on the internet for you guys? Well, I wrote them back, and I said, hey, Federal Reserve, you ignorant mother... <laughs> oh, y'all are so stupid. Well, you think you're not going to respond to me? You're going to give me a general response and have me searching everywhere for something? No, we're not going to be spending that type of time. I asked you a specific question. So, let me give you the specifics of the response. Now, you're going to love this response. See? The Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve, Washington, D.C. Address official correspondence to the board. Ladies and gentlemen, September 29th, 2022. Now, I want to let you guys know the reason why it's been so long. It's been so long. The reason why it's been so long that, well, Anita Baker did, it's been so long. But anyway, uh, the reason why it's been so long is because <laughs> when I got the response, I didn't care. Wait, wait, no, don't say that. They can use that against you. I don't care. IDK. It's technically IDC, but IDK. I don't care. IDC was the acronym that I've coined a long time ago, but IDK, I love it because I used to use the TDK. Cassettes. So, IDK, I don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not required to care. I'm not even required to give a DA triple M in. No, what I'm required to do, ladies and gentlemen, is exercise because I got to stay in shape. My rights. You got to stay in shape. I got to stay in shape. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to learn a couple of things. I want you to pay attention. I didn't ask you to FOIA the Federal Reserve for your health, okay? I specifically asked you to pay attention. This is in response to your electronic message dated August 14, 2022, and received by the board's information disclosure section, IDS. Is that similar to ID? No, it's not similar to IDK. Would you leave them alone? Let them keep reading. Apologize. You, you can continue. Well, thank you for giving him permission. <sighs> On August 15th, in which you appealed pursuant to 12 CFR 261.14a. Ladies and gentlemen, I will correct that. I did not do it according to some stupid code. This is the Code of Federal Regulations. Uh -uh, and I did it according to the, pay attention, Title V. But we're going we're gonna to continue. The Information Disclosure Session Manager's response to your request under the Freedom of Information Act, huh, as discussed further below, because your appeal introduces facts not known at the time of the IDS manager's determination, I am treating your appeal as a request for reconsideration of the IDS manager's original determination. They didn't know. They, they didn't know. We didn't know. They didn't know. Ladies and gentlemen, they say they didn't know. Okay, they did not know this information. Oh, God. Do you know that they're the keepers of the records, the keepers of the regulations they're required to know? Oh, don't worry about it. We're going to talk about that. Okay, let's go on. Background. By electronic message dated and received. Oh, by the way, background. An attorney. Background. An attorney. Background. This is written by an attorney. Please pay attention. 
by electronic message dated and received by the IDS information information disclosure section. They're supposed to disclose information on August 4, 2022. You requested procedures for banking institutions for depositing and receiving as deposits, notes, drafts, bills of exchange, trade acceptances, and bankers' acceptances, and or other United States government contract obligations. Uh-oh. He got Patipic, didn't he? He was in the Patipic. By letter dated August 12, 2022, the IDS manager information disclosure section manager for informed you that the staff had interpreted your request as seeking general information. Excuse me. Procedures for banking institutions. How, how can you get more specific than that? You see, I put it in quotations. That shows specificity. Specificity. You didn't see me quantify it. Well, what type of banking? There's only one type of banking institutions. The ones the president, I, I put it in the, the, the comment, they don't give you enough space. Well, anyway, let's continue. By the letter dated August 12th, 2022, the information disclosure section manager informed you that the staff had interpreted your request as seeking general information about depositing and receiving payments. Really? And that knowledgeable staff had advised that documents responsive to your request could be addressed electronically on the board's public website. Really? Thank you. The IDS manager specifically advised that information responsive to your request could be found at the following websites. What's the website? The FRB, Federal Reserve Board Services.org, Financial Services, check. They deal with checks. Nobody was asking about checks. The Federal Reserve Services.org resources, financial services, cash depositing ordering. Okay, not what I was looking for. Coins, not what I was looking for. And special reports, instruments of money, market, PDF, chapter 10. Nobody asked for it. Let's go back up. Let's see what else they got to say, because it's important. <sighs> By electronic message dated August 14, 2022, and received by the board's IDS August 15th. Well, if an electronic message, you didn't receive it the 15th. Ain't no way in the world it's going to take a day for an electronic message to get to you. You know what I'm saying, homie? Anyway, you appealed, appealed. See, notice that word right there. Appealed the IDS manager's response to your request. That's right, because you have a, under the Administrative Procedures Act, you got the right to appeal. Now, now, notice what they're going to do with my appeal. In your appeal, you advise the boards that the board's response to your August 12, 2022 was responsive to your request, but you note that it did not address your request for information in its entirety. Specificity is what I said. That's why you don't see them quoting me. You further advise that you are looking for information as to how that section of the act, the sixth paragraph of Section 18 of the Federal Reserve Act, as amended by Section 401 of the 1933 Banking, well, I, I, I didn't say Banking uh, Emergency Banking Act, uh, but it said National Emergency Banking Act, anyway, is applied at present day for banking institutions. Now, that was specific, wasn't it? Not specific, Pacific. I was Pacific. Discussion. Oh, an, an attorney. Look at that. He discussing things. Pursuant to the board's rules regarding availability of information, the board may reconsider an adverse determination, including one on appeal. If intervening circumstances and additional facts not known at the time of the adverse determination comes to the attention of the board. Now, now, notice what they're saying. They're saying that I was, pay attention, pay attention, right here, that I was appealing pursuant to this section. No, they're responding pursuant to this section. Nobody's using that section. Nobody cares about that section. I was appealing because it's my right under the Administrative Procedures Act. You get it? 
Let's continue. As you have provided additional information not known at the time of the IDS manager's original response, I'm re I'm, I'm, I'm treating your appeal as a reconsideration. I'm treating your appeal as a reconsider. I'm taking your appeal and throwing it in the trash, and I'm just going to respond like I did the first time. You follow me? Ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me show you something, okay? Just so that you know. See, I told them that they had not addressed the situation. I said I was looking for information how the section of the Federal Reserve Act. Why? Because, pay attention, this is the section of the Federal Reserve Act. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. But they, because they gave me a general response, I was being cordial when I responded back to them. They were being stupid when they responded this time. So I want you all to pay attention to how they responded. Based on the new information, see, they keep saying new. You see that? They, they, I gave them new information. The reason why they're using the term new is so that this junk can fit. What does this junk fit, may fit? Board considering information on appeal if intervening circumstances or additional facts. Okay? So they're saying, I ended up giving them additional things when I responded back to them. Based on new information provided in your electronic message of August 14, 2022, staff researched board records but did not locate. Now, hold on now. Did not locate any documents responsive of your request. Hoo-wee! Thank you. I'll tell you how perfect that response is in a minute by an attorney who doesn't understand whom the, he's talking to. Therefore, we are unable to provide you with any responsive information. Uh-oh, we are not going to respond to you is what they're saying. You're not going to get a response, homie. If you believe the determination that no responsive records exist is incorrect, now hold on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, y'all need to pay attention. I, I just need y'all to hold focus on this right here. Whew. If you believe that the determination that no records exist, okay, they said response, no records exist. You may administratively, look, they're giving me permission, appeal by writing the Office of the Secretary of the Board of Governors for the Federal Reserve System, attention for your appeals, and blah, 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 or pay attention, this is important. Oh, let's, wait, 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 where number two at? There, number two, uh, responsive to your request. Notice this, I need you all to pay attention to their, their speaking about my request. Pay attention. You may be interested to know. You may be interested to know. Did I ask you? No, no, hold on. Did I ask you? I don't recall asking you about my interests. Hold on. What the, you telling me this, foe? That's not part of our, now you giving me additional information? Pay attention. You may be interested to know, pay attention, that the authority for instances of circulating notes, i.e., now they did, that is Federal Reserve Bank notes, pursuant to paragraph 6, section 18 of the Federal Reserve Act, was terminated by the act of, or express position of the act of June 12, 1945. Ladies and gentlemen, she's, he, she, whatever that is that, because I didn't look to see if it was a he or she, didn't care. Ladies and gentlemen, what this idiot is saying is that the Federal Reserve Bank notes, that has been repealed. But notice Title 12, Section 412 doesn't say Federal Reserve Bank Notes. It says Federal Reserve Notes. And Section 411 speaks as to the circulating notes amongst the Federal Reserve Banks as being Federal Reserve Notes. So this paragraph is to misdirect, is to let a person who doesn't understand what they're doing, who doesn't understand the law, believe that the section of the act that we're talking about has been terminated. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Just they replace Federal Reserve bank notes with Federal Reserve notes. Remember, these are notes that circulate amongst the Federal Reserve. Look at Section 411. Okay, let's finish reading their junk. Hold on. Because it is shifting like this, your appeal must be postmarked electronically or electronically transmitted within 90 days of the date of the response to your request.
number three. Let's find out what number three is. As an alternative to an administrative appeal, you may contact the boys, board's FOIA public liaison, Ms. Candace Ambrose, at this number. For further assistance, I've contacted this hoe. They've never called me back. Additionally, you may contact the Office of General Information Services at the National Archives and Records Administration to inquire about FOIA mediation services they offer. The contact information at the I don't know what, where's the state? General, the Office of Government Information Services is as follows. Office of General Information Services, all I do is keep reading, huh? National Archives and Records is at this address. Ladies and gentlemen, now let me explain to you whom they're dealing with. I explained some of it during the communication. But let me bring it back to your attention because it's very important that you understand this. They say that they are not able to provide me with any information. Don't worry about responsive. That responsive word is not the important word. The correct paragraph is that they are not able to provide me with any information. What you all must pay attention. You got to read the act. You got to read the presidential proclamation. And you got to read the congressional record. They authorized them to create rules and regulations. Pay attention. Rules and regulations. They're the Federal Reserve Board. Section Title 12, Section 412, Federal Reserve Board. That's the Banking Act, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead, look at Title 12 and see what it is. Hold on. Hey, homie, can you show them what Title 12 is? Yeah, I'm downloading Windows, so let me see. I'll need to see where that was anyway. Now, this is Torch. Torch, because Torch didn't adapt to Google's new system and scheme, Torch is not available to anybody anymore. I have a bootleg version of it. Okay, but we gonna and you see it's 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 the current date and everything. But we 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 we's gonna put y'all here. T I T L E. It's not a positive law title, by the way, for those of you who understand that. Title twelve. U S C. Man, the University of Colorado. Man, that's a great university. U S C. Okay. Pay attention. Title 12 of the United States Code outlines the roles of banks and banking in the United States Code. Uh-oh, so who's in charge of that? Is it not the Federal Reserve Board? Lord have mercy. So uh, I just need y'all, like I said, just need y'all to pay attention. They say they don't have any information. Now, they, they say to me, if you believe that no information records exist, that the determination, they determine that no records exist. Explaining what the procedures are. Thank you. I don't need to appeal. I have it right here from the Federal Reserve that they specifically said no records exist. Ladies and gentlemen, sign, seal, delivered. I'm yours. This is the seal. Here I am, baby. Sign, seal, delivered. I'm yours. Hey. Deputy Associate Secretary of the Board. Now, watch this. Let's see if we can take this name right here. I'm believing it's a lawyer. And it's a female. So, now that we know, I, I ain't going to call her a woman. No, no. See, I, that's what I told my staff. If you ever hear me call a, a, a female a woman, then you know that I am not being respectful. Okay, it's just that simple. Come on now. Let's do this again. All right. Tick, 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 tock, the tick, tick, the tick, tock, the tick, tick, the tick, tock. Well, look at there. Look at there. What did I tell you? How did I know? How did I know? I didn't know. Mama, that man's a genius. Again, from the way that junk was written, I could tell that that idiot, look, Deputy Associate Secretary of the Board, I could tell that this idiot was an attorney. While this idiot is trying to CYA, 
they're trying so hard to cover their own anuses that they're not even realize what I'm trying to do in the first place, you ignorant mother. And that's why he brings up, or she brings up this junk right here. This ain't got nothing to do with it, but I saw this coming. That's why I told you they got rid of Federal Reserve banknotes as circulating notes in 1945. And you keep hearing me say that on video. Now it's Federal Reserve notes. See, I didn't know that at first until I read this junk. Okay, once I read that Federal Reserve bank notes have been replaced by Federal Reserve notes, hey, by all means, that's all I needed to see. So, they tell me that there is no procedure. So, I am going to do an administrative amendment of the procedure. And I'm going to use this facsimile. This, 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 this documentation. Why? Because here it is. Here I am. Baby. directly from the board thank you very much i appreciate it thank you thank you for allowing me access and then when they don't allow me access then we get to play you hear me you heard me so ladies and gentlemen i just thought i'd introduce to you when someone takes you for a fool and doesn't think you know what you're doing this is how you handle them now this is an attorney who thinks they're smarter than me that's okay. That's, that's all right. Uh, many attorneys think they're smarter than me. There are many judges who think they're smarter than me. And I'll allow it. Yeah, I'm going to do it in the next video. I got something I want to tell y'all. All right. Hey, got to go. When somebody plays you for a fool, that's the name of this video. <laughs> and you pretend to be the fool. All right. Got to go. Y'all take care. I hope everything goes well with all of y'all today. It's a cloudy day here. The first one we've had where it's been cloudy and the clouds are touching the ground. That's how cloudy this day is. These clouds are so low. How low are they? That they're touching the ground, you ignorant. Didn't you just hear what I said? Man. Okay, take care.